Welcome SPA students, families, and staff to the virtual 2019-20 eighth grade promotion ceremony. Before we get started today, I would like to honor some dignitaries in our virtual audience this evening. From the Charthouse Public Schools Governing Board, please welcome trustees Marie Gill, Tamara Gerlach, Heather Vega, David Wendt, Jill Wilk, and board chair Deborah Padberg. We greatly appreciate their service to this organization. I also want to recognize representatives from the Contra Costa County Office of Education, as well as the County Board of Education. This evening, while we must remain physically apart, we will join together virtually to recognize the achievements of our eighth grade student body, not just for this year of hard work, but also celebrating the transition into high school as a critical step towards a successful future. Middle school is in an interesting time in a young person's life. Personally, I don't remember it with any great detail, and professionally, I spent my career before SPA working with primarily high school and college students. This school has provided me with my first true experience with middle schoolers. And if I am being honest, before we began, I was a bit nervous about how it would go. After four years, I can say that again and again, middle schoolers have proved to be my favorite students. There is such a beautiful spirit and energy especially about this eighth grade class. It has been my honor and pleasure to work for you and your families this year. But as you can all testify, I was not the only one doing work. The eighth grade students seated in front of me have completed the requisite courses for our program of study with passing grades. In short, they have met the standard to promote to high school and participate in this ceremony. But word of warning, my young friends, the real work begins next fall. I believe you will find high school to be increasingly more challenging, and as I am sure you have been told, you will begin to establish a record of your academic progress that will greatly impact the rest of your life, especially including what you do immediately after high school. Do not underestimate how important this is. The bottom line, the only place you will find success before work is in the dictionary. I'll let that sink in. Tonight, I challenge you to double your efforts, commit yourself to achieving greatness, and focus on maintaining a growth mindset. I will leave you with one last quote that my father shared with me when I was about your age, and that has stayed with me all this time. Never forget that it is your attitude, not your aptitude, that will determine your altitude. Never forget that it is your attitude, not your aptitude that will determine your altitude. Congratulations to the 2018-19 eighth grade class of Contra Costa School of Performing Arts. Hello, I am Alexander Bunnick and it is my pleasure to welcome students, families, and faculty to this year's eighth grade promotion at Contra Costa School of Performing Arts. On the first day of sixth grade, I remember Mr. McChesney came to Ms. Pierce Spelling and did a presentation talking about the four R's, SPA's graduate profile. The four R's are rigor, relevance, resilience, and relationships. In sixth grade, these were just words, but now I can see how the four R's are incorporated into our whole school experience. Rigor. Focusing on rigor has taught us how to think in depth about the project we are working on. All of our classes have had rigorous and challenging projects. For example, this year in history, we completed a Mythbusters project in which we researched a historical myth and concluded whether it was true or false. Next, we made videos about the process of busting the myth and presented to our class. Relevance. As a class, we learned many important skills which are relevant in today's world and will benefit us next year and in the future. Working backstage for the shows has taught us how to organize people, plan, make mistakes, and improve upon them. One of our projects this year in Algebra 1 was comparing caramels of our choice and concluding which one is best suited for our lifestyles. In health and wellness, we took a trip to Whole Foods to learn about purchasing healthy foods and how to shop on a budget. Resilience. As a class, we've learned how to be resilient and not give up. One of the challenges of being in a new school is working through difficulties. As many of us have been here since sixth grade, we've learned how to adapt to change, such as welcoming new teachers, building new parts of the campus, and staying patient as we work through the challenges of being in a school. 
During the COVID-19 shutdown, we stayed a close community by attending online calls and checking in with each other via email, text, or Google Hangouts. Relationships. Most importantly, as a school, we have built amazing relationships with our teachers, peers, and administration. Teachers' doors are always open when they pop in and say hi between classes or after school for extra help. Each day after English, me and my friends would say hello to Ms. Peters during passing period. Students find ways to entertain with and connect with each other. For example, when a student dressed up as Peppa Pig to fulfill another student's dream during Leadership's I Wish program. Before the COVID-19 shutdown, I know me and some of my classmates saw each other and our teachers more than our families, especially during Tech Week for our shows. Together, we've worked tirelessly to improve ourselves and our school, and we've come together to create and support one another. These past three years have truly been the best years of my life. In closing, thank you to the teachers and staff who brought us this wonderful school. Thank you to the parents who got us to school every day, volunteered, and were always supportive. And most of all, thank you to the students for your hard work in your classes and constantly looking out for one another. Although some of us are leaving next year, I know we will always continue to create together. Thank you. Have a good day. Hello, classmates, families, and small faculty. It is so crazy to me that our middle school experience is already over. It seems like it was just yesterday that we walked through these halls for the first time. Whether you've been here at SPA since sixth grade or joined our class this year, you know that SPA is really like no other school. Faculty and students alike value and practice acceptance and respect, regardless of anyone's differences. You don't get that at a lot of other schools. I'd like to reminisce about a few things from the past three years. For those of us who've been here since sixth grade, we basically grew up together. We turned into teenagers and matured together. We were also the first class to be in the new building for the entirety of middle school. We got to experience having real venues to perform in, and some people even performed for the first time with this school. If you were in Seeker Garden, you got to perform in the tent outside, which unfortunately killed the grass for the next few months. In seventh grade, we went on the field trip to the Lesher Center with Ms. Kupitakis, saw the play about Anne Frank. We missed school for a few days due to the fires in paradise just north of us. We saw, or were in, Footloose, which created more friendships than I can count. And for those just joining in eighth, we got to compete in spa awards and earn points for our major. We would walk to Safeway, Burger Lounge, Mod Pizza, or Starbucks after school, and I'm pretty sure that their sales increased substantially. Instrumental and Vocal went on a field trip to Anaheim and did workshops for three days. There's rigorous preparation for Into the Woods, which unfortunately never got to see the stage. Lastly, we missed two and a half months of school because of COVID-19. We joined Google Meet classes and our screen time skyrocketed since our only form of communication was through technology. We've all gone through so much as a class and we've gone through our own personal journeys and we've also gone through three years of spa's journey. We will, so while we may not have always been physically together, we've always been together. I'm so grateful for the experience that I've had here at SPA. We have all learned a lot, and I truly think that the teachers here are the best teachers ever. One of the biggest things we learned was how to take subjects that are not usually relating to art and creativity and portray them in creative and artistic ways. The way SPA helps us and teaches us to use art in everyday situations will always be one of the most special things about it. I will always value my time here as a middle schooler, and I'm thrilled to see what high school will ensue. If you're going to a different high school, I hope that you have an amazing experience there. To conclude, we made it through middle school. Go us. Thank you for listening. Imagine there's no heaven. It's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today. Imagine there's no countries, it isn't hard to do. Nothing to kill or die for, and no religion to imagine all the people living a life in peace. 
You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday you'll join us, and the world will be as one. Imagine no possessions, I wonder if you can. No need for greed or hunger, a brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people sharing all the world. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. I hope someday. It is my pleasure and privilege to present the Certificates of Promotion to the 8th grade class of Contra Costa School of Performing Arts for the 2019-2020 school year. Uh, what a weird and wild year it has been. Um, our students have shown great grit, resilience, um, determination, and above all, a willingness to look out for each other. Um, it's been a, a really big honor teaching them this year. And while I wish the year had been able to end differently, um, I will never forget these amazing human beings that graced our halls. So I will begin with the presentation of certificates. Kino Augustine. Aubrey Alfred. Angelo Altamarino, Marina Altamarino, Charity Alvarenga, Alexa Anair, Stephanie Anderson, Melanie Areca, Tane Archer, Logan Avery, Sima Balak. Sophia Barajas Martin, Isabel Bartelson, Lindsay Bergmeier, Cassidy Biner, Nakea Bowman, Sitlali Busio, Alexandra Benick, Morvin Cameron, Amel Carmona. George Saruti, Lucas Chin, Isabella Conry, Stephanie Cooper, Cameron Dower, Sarah Davidson, Penelope Delanatis, Jameson Dixon, Deja Dotson, Sam Duncan, Jimena Eddy, Abigail Elwood, Tina Epstein, Kayla Farmer, Joaquin Felix, Cecilia Fink, Kendra Fitzsimmons, David Gant, Ava Garcia, Valerie Garcia, Casey Gassner, Madeline Gomez, Timothy Gummini, Veronica Gutierrez, Chloe Heilig, Olivia Henley Bush, Angelica. Enriquez, Sanaya Henry, Giari Holden, 
Faith Hoshauer. Jaden Rochelle Hunt. Lily Jackson Fisher. Lila Kasser. Betsy Kolshin. Samuel, Samuel Komanowski. Tiffany Ku. Jaya Levy Fitzharris. Danielle Cassandra Lorenzo. Diego Marquez. Madison Marquez. Christian Martinez. Ryan Mead. Kayla Morales. Camila Moreno. Sidonia Moratori. Diana Navarro. Lyric Nelson. Kiori Nolly. Mieko Peña Robles. Stephanie Pereira. Catherine Perez. Sophia Pereira. Jackie Fan. Hannah Phipps. Xavier Picasso. Dylan Pitts. Xander Raymond. Isabella Ruvacalba. Sammy Centillion. Kiana Santos. Malu Scalia. Connor Schoenthal. Lucas Schwartz. Nicholas Schwind. Barry Simeon. Ella Spears. Serenity Spencer. Thomas Sarmack. Marley Taze. Isabel Tran. Alex Tumidakis. Brody Valdez. Ace Bashel. Siomari Vasquez. Liliana Weiss. Michael Willer. Roxanne Williams. Ari Wolf Royal. Belle York. Kimberly Zaragoza. Hello everyone, my name is Kayla Morales and I'm a theater major at SPA. It's an honor to be here today. What a year it's been. Knowing we all worked so hard to get to this point despite the challenges, all I can say is congratulations. And just look at how far we've all come. Being in this room with all my fellow peers and teachers, I have the courage to say it's time to start a new chapter in our lives because every end has a new beginning. We are one class and we are spotastic. And I know we're ready to face those new challenges that life and high school will bring us. There are not enough words to express my gratitude to the people who got us all here today. First, I'd like to thank our amazing teachers at SPA. I'd like to thank you for pushing us every day, even after the hardest times when we felt like giving up. You were there to catch us when we fell. You encouraged us to keep going, and you were always there for me, for us, and for our community. When we were having trouble in class, or when we needed someone to talk to, or when we just needed someone to listen to our crazy ideas and our silly jokes. Someone once said, it takes a big heart to teach little minds. And I believe that the teachers at SPA have the biggest hearts. I'd also like to recognize my peers because even after a hard day and a very unpredicted year, we're all on the same boat, sailing the same waves, right? We all had each other's backs, and we always will. Sure, quarantine found us at our very hardest moments, but we were all in it together as we worked on as one ensemble. To the graduating eighth graders, 
May we never forget the memories we created at SPA from the last three years. The dances, the rallies, the tears, the laughs, the stress of tech week, and the feeling of passing a power focus area. Thank you, SPA staff, teachers, and students for creating the family bond we have. I believe that everyone here has the power to dream on and make a difference in the world today in their own way. And finally, thank you, SPA, for changing my life. I could never truly be who I am today without you. Thank you, theater, for opening my eyes to a world I can design and play in, a place I can follow my own path to something I love. Thank you for being my canvas to paint away my destiny and my future. Not only for me, but for my peers today. And a very humble thank you to my family. I would not have these stepping stones to success and my future without you. As Michelle Obama says, don't ever underestimate the importance you have because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. So let's go out there and conquer the future because the future is no one else's but ours. Congrats, eighth graders. speech. Parents, friends, faculty, and my fellow classmates of the future class of 2024. Before I begin, I'd like to thank the amazing faculty at this school and those of the schools we've attended in the past that got us this point in our lives. I've gone to many schools. I've had many teachers and many admin. But this school is like no other. These teachers and admin are truly something else, and there's no place I'd rather be. Middle school's hard. It comes not only with more learning, but with more drama, more homework, more relationships, friendships and hardships in between. Nothing can perfectly prepare us for that. It's just one of those things we have to experience on our own. But it is indeed the relationships and hardships in life that teach us what really matters, help us prepare for what will be our last four years of childhood. If there's one thing this school has taught us, it's to make mistakes and to change our minds and to change them again, to pursue what we're most passionate about, and most importantly, to strive to do our very best. And it's lessons like that that we will treasure and carry with us throughout our lives. And although some of us will be going our separate ways, we will carry the experiences, relationships, and memories we made here at SPA with us forever. We stand here today as the future class of 2024, a group of bright, hardworking, talented individuals that have been through more than the average middle schoolers and have come out stronger, smarter, and with experiences and memories that will last us a lifetime. Thank you.
Once again, congratulations to the 2019-20 eighth grade class of SPA. We are very, very proud of you. That is our program for the evening, folks. Please stay happy and healthy, and we will hopefully connect in person again soon. Have a great evening. Graders, Mr. Mixlithers and I just wanted to tell you guys congratulations for finishing out eighth grade and good luck in high school. It's been great working with you guys this year and teaching you science. I hope you were able to have some fun in our class and you continue to enjoy your science classes going forward. Have a great summer, everybody. Okay, real talk, guys. This is, I don't know, take 20? And I cannot get what I want to get across to you guys. I love you guys so much, and sometimes it's hard for me to show that. I will miss you guys so, so much. You guys were the first sixth grade class that I ever had, middle school class. You guys are the first class that I taught at SPA, and it has been an honor to watch you guys grow through sixth grade, through seventh grade, and into eighth grade. I am so excited to see what you guys do in this world because you are all so talented. And whether I have taught you in the past or this is the first time that you've seen me, I know that this community that you have built is one that is going to change the world for the better. Congratulations and have a wonderful summer. Hey everybody, Kyrie and I just wanted to say congratulations on your graduation of eighth grade. I know it's not what we would have pictured, um, but I just wanted to let you all know that I'm so proud of you all. Um, you're definitely my favorite people. I know I say that a lot, but I mean it for this class of eighth graders. I'm going to miss you all. Um, but enjoy high school and make sure you make the most out of it, whatever it may be, wherever you may go. And keep in touch. Bye, congratulations again. Hello, my beautiful unicorns. I wanna start by saying thank you. Thank you for all the fun and the laughter. Thank you for trying. Thank you for struggling on even when things got hard. You all have been such an inspiration and blessing to me, and I'm so very grateful. More than that, I am so very, very proud I wouldn't trade being your teacher for anything. It has been my honor and my privilege. And now my darlings, to the class, the promotion class of 2020, I say, Wah! Well, best laid plans and all that. I was out on the uh, the bay and everything like that, and uh, there's too much noise, and so you couldn't hear a word that I was saying and everything like that. So I figured I'd keep the helmet on and keep the mask on that I was wearing, just to be able to point out what it was like out there. But it seems like everything, you know, looks very nice out there at the moment, but um, it's it's changing, obviously, and we're all changing, and the situation is changing constantly. So, uh, but that's okay because we're used to change. We can make a change. And you, particularly, are going to be able to make a change. Think about it. In four years, you're going to be able to vote, which means you're going to be able to have a direct impact beyond what you can do already for whatever leadership's going on in this country. So regardless of what you feel about the circumstances now, know that what you are and who you are right now, it's going to make an impact. So keep moving forward. Uh, I just want to say that you've been a fantastic group of eighth graders to work with. Uh, very creative, very uh, animated and motivated, and you've inspired me in a lot of different ways. And so I'm going to keep moving forward, even though I'm not on the bike like I was before. So I'll cut back to that in a moment and just encourage you to keep moving forward as well and enjoy it. See ya. Hello, eighth grade theater majors. We are so in awe of your work this year. For many of you, we have had the joy of watching you grow for th the past three years. And for some of you, we witnessed beautiful growth in the first or second year with us. 
In this time of uncertainty and unrest, there is one thing we can be certain of. You are ready. You are ready to enter high school as young artists and scholars. And we are so excited to see you expand the possibilities of what theater can be. You are the theater of now and tomorrow. And thank you so much for choosing us to help guide you through this process. And congratulations, graduates. And we love you all so much. <laughs> Bye. All right, we did it, we did. Hello, eighth grade dancers. Congratulations on your graduation and your promotion. Thank you so much for your hard work and your beautiful dancing this year. You've been such great leaders in our middle school dance program. And the faculty and I just really want to say thank you and wish you the best. Thank you so much too for being so resilient this quarter and adapting to our new dance curriculum. I know that virtual dance classes are different and can be challenging, but the faculty and I really enjoyed still getting to interact with you and see your faces and see your dancing. So um, great job and I wish you well this summer and I look forward to all the great work to come. All right, bye. Spa's family since the sixth grade. It took a lot of people to get us to this moment, so I'd like to start with some thank yous. I would first like to thank, in general, all my teachers. I feel I have made a connection with each and one of you, and I couldn't ask for better teachers. You guys motivate and inspire me every single day to keep on doing my best. If I ever need your guys' help, you are always there for me, and I'm very grateful for that. Also, I would love to thank my parents because even though we live a little far away, they always made the effort to drive me to school, always driving me from and to rehearsals, no matter what time it was. I'm very grateful for them and I'm so happy that they let me go to this school because it's one of the best decisions I have ever made. I feel I have made so many memories with everyone in the eighth grade and some highlights that I've made in the eighth grade is being in the show She Kills Monsters. Um, I am a theater major and there have been lots of challenges, but in the end, it became this beautiful kind of art. You learn so many life lessons and it makes me so happy that I got to be a part of this art that we were creating. Being on stage is a feeling that I have never felt until I came to Coco Spa. Also, another little funny memory I have at Coco Spa is every Fridays during lunch, my friends and I would play the game Uno. It was just a good way for us to bond, but 
these little things that happen at Coco Spa are what makes me want to go to school every single day. The connections and the memories and just the bonding that you have with everyone is something that I have never had until I came to Coco Spa. It is really something special and I think everyone that has made a big impact in my life at this school. Even though we are having promotion virtually, this moment will be a memory to remember. You have graduated middle school. I wish the best of luck in high school. Thank you.